Hello, fear. <laughs> I'm no longer your friend. See, I'm better this way. And one more thing before you leave. Never again will I love you. My heart, it refuses to be your home. No longer you're my prisoner. Today I remember. Apart from you is where I belong. Good morning and welcome back to your spiritual sports segment on Rima Gospel Radio. Better than when you heard it last week. I'm CJ. It's time. Have you ever been driving and cruising along the highway and your engine just totally gives out? Well, that's what happened to Jimmy Johnson at Michigan International Speedway for the Pure Michigan 400 as he started from the back of the pack and quickly moved up and had taken the lead at lap 191, but his engine failed with only six laps left and that opened the door for Greg Biffle to take the checkered flag as Brad Kozlowski finished second, Casey Kane finished third, coming in fourth place was Dale Earnhardt Jr. and Marcos Ambrose round out the top five. With Greg Biffle winning, he catapulted to the top of the NASCAR Sprint Cup standings with 823 points, Matt Kenseth with 803 points, Dale Earnhardt Jr. is now third with 801, and Jimmy Johnson is fourth with 795 points. I ran over a shoe. That's what happened when Danica Patrick, who led a career high of 20 laps, ran over a random shoe on the course during the Nationwide Series at Montreal as Justin Algier captured the victory, while Sam Hornets Jr. finished second as Jacques Villeneuve finished third and the aforementioned Patrick finished 27th. Poised to win his first PGA Tour ever since 2008 at the Wyndham Championship at Sedgefield Country Club in Greensboro, North Carolina, Sergio Garcia will have to endure the painful time of waiting since round four was suspended due to rain, and Garcia sits atop the leaderboard by one stroke at 15 under par, while a host of golfers are chasing him at one shot back. Roger Federer has five fingers on his right hand, and that's the hand he used to hoist his record fifth Cincinnati title for the Western Southern Open as he simply manhandled Novak Djokovic 6-0, 7-6. Major League Baseball had seven games on the diamond yesterday in American League as the Chicago White Sox couldn't handle the Kansas City Royals and lost 5-2. The Tampa Bay Rays stung. The LA Angels 8-3, despite homers from Albert Pujols and Mike Trout. The Cleveland Indians were literally spanked by the Oakland A's and shut out 7-0 as Coco Crisp. <laughs> I like saying that. Went yard. The Minnesota Twins were dominated by the Seattle Mariners 5-1, while the Boston Red Sox came up short against the New York Yankees 4-1 as Ichiro Suzuki went to the Lone Yard Buffet line twice. The Baltimore Orioles got past the Detroit Tigers 7-5 as Chris Davis belted his 20th homer, and the Texas Rangers literally spanked the Toronto Blue Jays 11-2 as Michael Young had three hits, five RBIs, and top it off with a home run. For your NBA quick dribbles, LeBron James has indicated that if healthy, he would like another crack at getting a gold medal for the United States at the 2016 Rio Games. After having surgery for his ailing ankle, Golden State Warriors center Andrew Bogut fully expects to be in the lineup when their NBA season kicks off on October 31st. And finally, the New Orleans Hornets and coach Monty Williams have agreed on a four-year contract extension. This sports segment was sponsored by the Spa in Orlando, Florida, as it was voted the best spa in Orlando weekly yet again. To have your company sponsor a sports segment, please email me at cj at cjsports.com for more information. To catch archives of your spiritual sports segment, log on to my innovative blog site cjsports.com and be sure to give me that follow on Twitter at cjsports. That's C-E-E-J-A-Y. And stay tuned for more updates on your next spiritual sports segment where we sprinkle a little spirituality <laughs> in your sports. I'm CJ. Be blessed and keep smiling because God has something special in store for you.